Hello everybody, uh, my name is Andrew, and uh, if you are watching this, I am thankful that you've watched this. Uh, for this video, um, I plan to tell you the top five games that I've played. Um, some of you may agree with me, others will probably not. And take this into account that this is the first video where... I've posted on YouTube that my face is shown. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more lists. Uh, just let me know and I'll do research and I'll get to playing. Um, <clears throat> start off my list. I'll say right now that some games are actually tied because I cannot really decide which one was better over the other. So, my number five spot goes to Halo Wars and Dishonored 5 or sorry Dishonored um reason why I have them tied is because of each of their <coughs> gameplay and their cutscenes per se uh with Dishonored the game although <coughs> it's gameplay is very interesting with it's sword play and uh, gun mechanics and all the magic and spells uh, the characters I view as kind of badly drawn uh, making some of the characters look extremely ugly per se and a lot of the grown up uh, models have really big hands, which is strange. And but gameplay and was very, very well done. I cannot really, and that's the main reason they got into number five with Halo Wars. Halo Wars was the most interesting addition to the Halo franchise, and that is the only Halo game to not be rated M for Mature, which is strange. It's also one of the first Halo games to not be in the first person shooter. The other game would be Spawn Assault, but I have not played that. Um, Halo Wars gameplay was kind of fun in that it's, if you're interested in the RTS game styles and everything combined with the Halo universe. But what really got it into this list was it amazingly uh was it amazing cutscenes. It's uh whether it's the bridge fight with the three Spartans against the army of Singheli or elites as they are known or whether it's just the Spirit of Fire going against the Covenant ship. It was all amazingly well done. And I congratulate the people who made those cutscenes. Because they were pretty fantastic. And they are beautiful in many ways. So number four on my list is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now just to say this right now. It is the only Call of Duty on my list. None of, no other Call of Duties really were good enough to get on my list. Uh, but Fans Warfare, it was different than most other Call of Duty games that I've played. In the fact of the exosuits. Which offered interesting gameplay. And um, offered new ways to play the game. Uh, it's still it's a lot of the same mechanics of shooting and killing your opponents throughout the game. Now... Number three on my list, Halo Reach. This is, this Halo game was probably the most wonderfully crafted Halo game in and out of cutscenes. Halo Wars was the most beautiful game with the cut in its cutscenes. But Halo Reach was probably the best Halo game uh, with its cutscenes and everything done in that game. It was so spectacular that I 
gameplay mechanics were also amazing, and everything was spectacular enough to get to my number three. Now, my number two. Uh, the original Halo Combat Evolved. The reason why I'm not saying the anniversary is because, although it's the same game, the graphics, the gameplay, were kind of affected by the change of controls and the new graphics, in that it was kind of lacking. Um, same said for Halo 4, which was not good enough to make on my list. 3 for 3 Industries. So, anyway, uh, the regional Halo Combat Evolved created by Bungie was, uh, had graphics that were superior at the time it was made and is, are still very good now in nowadays standards compared to some games. Uh, the gameplay was ecstatic and it was a good reason why, there's a good, it's a good reason why it was called Combat Evolved. Now, my big number one is a tie between Grand Theft Auto 5 and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Now both of these games were huge uh, free open world game that have spectacular gameplay and wonderful graphics. Now Shadow of Mordor had a beautiful, a beautiful cutscenes within each mission, going into each mission, and so it was easy to get addicted and wrapped up into the gameplay. Grand Theft Auto V. What is there not to love about that game? That game has a variety of weapons which you can use to decimate your opponents. And also, the cutscenes were pretty well done, and also the graphics were pretty well done too. And nobody can forget that $10,000 C-Type. That car looks slick. Every it's, it's a game that everybody knows and loves to play. And I just remembered that the $10,000 C-Type was $10 million. Keep that in mind when wanting to buy one. There's nothing about GTA 5 I cannot say was bad. Like, nothing. Except for maybe the physics. But that's a whole different story. So anyway, guys. Uh, or all those that watch this video. Thank you for watching. Um, and thank you if you agree with this list. Or have disagreements, which uh, most of you probably will. Uh, leave a comment if you like the video. And what I said, uh, hit the like button, and if you like me enough, you can subscribe. I'll be sure to post more videos more frequently than what I've been doing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and also keep in mind that all these games were played offline. The original version of the game that came out uh, offline. Almost all of these games are on the 360, aside from Combat Evolved, I believe, and yeah, that's it, Combat Evolved. And some of, and two of those games were also available on Xbox One. Uh, if there's another list you would like me to do, uh, put it in the comments and I'll do my research as I said before. And thank you for watching. Uh, you're amazing. Bye.